Well, okay. Looks like we're up and ready for another uh, edition of Aunt Barb's Magic Oven. Another another segment. Yes. Ah, Doc's out there. Hoping you're enjoying these. Let your friends know if you if you're enjoying them. Chances are your friends will too. You know, and uh, it's an in- and right now they can catch up easily. They just go to the YouTube site where you're seeing this. I'm assuming, and uh, they can just go back to Aunt Barb's Magic Oven Part One and just work their way up. Okay. So anyway, I better get going. This one's kind of a long segment. Uh, this is, um, I think, segment number eight, chapter eight, if you want to call it that. Aunt Barb's Magic Oven, entitled. Uh, well, hey, what's in this cinnamon toast? <laughs> well, Grandma did make pretty good cinnamon toast. Um, I'll explain cinnamon toast. Basically, it's just plain old white bread, toasted nicely, not not burnt, just lightly browned. You butter it up real good, and you put um, confectioner sugar. That's the powdered sugar, not granular. Right. Uh, you layer that on. It gets caught up in the butter and gets kind of, uh, oh, I don't, and the heat. And it just gets kind of, well, it, it's it's sort it just takes on a, a life of its own and a little bit of cinnamon. And then you cut it into triangles. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yes. That and a cup of coffee, life is good. And it's uh, sort of a poor man's cinnamon bun. Right. Anyway, so you know. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. Dying and coming back to life or maybe just dreaming about it makes a guy pretty darn hungry. Grandma had uh, had breakfast ready. Coffee and cinnamon toast was just fine with me. That's uh, buttered toast with confectioner sugar along with a dash of cinnamon sprinkled on top. It tasted great. <sighs> Grandma noticed that I was chewing harder and longer than I usually do. She wanted to know if the toast was too tough. I told her no, the toast was perfect. Uh, Grandma was just back from church. She pretty much went every day, no matter what. Lucky for her. St. Mary's was right across the street from her house. It gave, uh, if they gave out pins for attendance, well, uh, Grandma would definitely get a 60-year pin easily. She, uh, she'd tend to go very early in the morning. I think she had her own key to the front door, to the big front door. Grandma sat down at the table and took a wedge of cinnamon toast from, uh, from the serving dish and poured herself some coffee. I, I asked her how church was. She said that there was only a few people there that morning uh, uh, and uh, and also mentioned uh, that there was a newcomer, a nice gentleman. She had never seen him before. After the service and just outside the front door, he tipped her hat to her and offered his arm to help her get down the steps. Uh, he told her that Thanksgiving Day uh, today was going to be the greatest Thanksgiving ever, and he just knew uh, she'd have a, well, she'd have a great time. Uh, down the down on the sidewalk, he tipped his hat again and turned to go. Grandma figured he was just passing through. Uh, she went on her way a few steps and thought it might be nice to invite the stranger to Thanksgiving dinner uh, at, at Aunt Barb and Uncle Bill's house. Being Grandma, she thought kindly of everyone. She probably feared that uh, he was new in town and had no, no other place to go. Grandma told me that normally she would never do anything uh, like that, uh, but the stranger just seemed so nice. Uh, she turned to holler to the guy, but he, he was already out of sight. He must have been a fast walker, she said, because he was nowhere to be seen. Grandma always kept a, a small wall calendar in the kitchen. I guess everyone does. Uh, her calendar came from St. Mary's. It, it hung low. Uh, it hung low on one of the uh, cupboard doors. Sitting where uh, she was at the kitchen table, Grandma held had while well, she had her back to the calendar. I just haphazardly glanced at it over her shoulder. A print of Jesus walking along the garden lane, along a garden lane, uh, checking on his pumpkins and Indian corn was November's picture. <laughs> he kind of looked like he was trying to decide if it was time to uh, rake the leaves. Uh, I thought how my uh, calendar back home was a bit different. Uh, it had a girl laying on a pile of leaves, wearing a pilgrim hat and maybe a leaf or two, and, well, that was about it. <sighs> Grandma uh, continued talking. I, I think it was something about a new way to make cinnamon toast, uh, w- when when all of a sudden that calendar gave me quite a shock. Jesus on the calendar waved at me and smiled. Then he put his fingers to his lips, signal, signaling me to keep quiet. 
Yeah, like this. Yeah, I I blinked my eyes a bit. Grandma noticed uh, me blinking and asked if the cinnamon was uh, maybe too strong. Uh, I I told her that the toast was fine and that my eyes were just a bit itchy. I I, I looked back at the calendar. Jesus on the calendar was laughing his tail off. I could hear him. Suddenly, the guy from last night, Gabe, was in the picture too. Uh, he was uh, walking down the lane whistling. You know, like Fred Astaire or something with his hands in his pockets. The two of them were both laughing and high-fiving each other. And Gabe waved and uh, informed me that I didn't have to speak with my voice. Um, that They could hear my thoughts just fine. It's funny, but for once in my life, I was thoughtless. Uh, I, I didn't have any thoughts to think. I was too busy realizing that the dream I had last night might have actually happened. They, 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 they said that Grandma couldn't hear them. Jesus said how uh, he had a nice big bag of green chuckles for me if I wanted any. He he pulled the bag out of uh, gumdrops out of his robes and waved it in the air. With that, he uh, the two of them started dancing in the pathway. I think they were doing the Charleston combined with some kind of square dance move, like a do si do. I, I sat there transfixed, just staring. Jesus and Gabe started grabbing green chuckles out of their uh, paper bag and tossing them into the air to catch them with their mouths. They caught most of them. Uh, Grandma noticed my staring. Uh, she looked over her shoulder at the calendar. Uh, Jesus and Gabe immediately froze like statues. She, she looked back at me and took a long sip of coffee. Then she spoke. Is that calendar talking to you? It talks to me almost every day. Want some more coffee? And that's it for uh, this episode, friends. We'll do... Uh, Let's see, that would be number eight. I guess we'll do number nine tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you later. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, share these with your friends if you'd be so kind and uh, if, if you think they'd like them. And uh, well, thank you. God bless.